Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the new exciting features of the upcoming Filmora 13. So there are so many new features like a new masking feature, key graph editing, Filmora Copilot, and many more. So Filmora 13 is all set to release officially at the end of October, and Wondershare company gave me a beta version of Filmora 13, so let's see what these exciting features are. Okay guys in the interface we have the same interface we saw in Filmora 12. And also we have cloud storage for backup of your important projects. And here we have a creator hub, which helps to explore all Filmora tutorials in one place. So let's go into the Filmora. Okay, we have the same workspaces we saw in Filmora 12, and also the same color theme. Also we can drag these every window to change the sizes that we need. And we have new effects browsing feature. It shows what effects and text currently trending. For example, I select this one, and you can see what is included in this effect pack. So if you need this, you can simply download this by clicking this download button. Also when you play the video, you can control the video speeds, play and pause using the JK and L keys on the keyboard. So guys, these are the few simple changes in Filmora 13. So let's see what are main features we have in Filmora 13. So in Filmora 12 we had a simple color graph like this. Now in the Filmora 13 we have more advanced graphs like the parade, waveform, vector scope and histogram. And here you can change the number of graphs. Also you can switch these graphs like this. So this feature is so helpful when we color grading our videos and making tone colors. So this is the clip I used to show the example. So when you scale down your video like this, you need to add another video or image to hide this empty area. So now we can do it simply using this new background option. So here you can see it add a blurred background. And also you can add colors for the background and can add different patterns like this. So if you use blur, you can use different blur variations like directional blur, granity blur, and many more. Here we have three types of blur intensity. And also we can customize the intensity we like. So the next feature is the new AI masking. So these are the clips I used to show the example. Okay now I need to draw a mask around this girl. So in Filmora 12, we have the pen tool to draw a mask, but now we have a better way to add mask. So in Filmora 13, we have a new AI masking feature. So I select this, and we have a brush icon to draw the selection. Also you can adjust the brush size like this. So then to draw the mask, I simply draw the selection like this. After that you can see it automatically add a mask around this girl. Also we have another two options like select character and select subject. So selecting character means it automatically detects the people in your video, and you can simply add masks around the person. So selecting subjects means it automatically detects objects like vehicles, landscapes, and other things. And there is another cool feature we have mask tracking. To track your mask you need to click this play icon, then it automatically draws the mask like this. So if you need to track your mask again, you can simply remove this tracking by clicking this bin icon. Next is the smooth slow motion. So this is the video I use for slow motion. So I like to add speed ramping to this. So go to the speed, select speed ramping, then select customize, then I adjust the speed graph to something like this. So let's see how it looks. You can see it looks choppy. So in Filmora 13 we have a new AI frame interpolation feature. So here we have frame sampling, frame blending, and optical flow. So I select this optical flow. After that to watch the result we need to export or render this preview. So I simply render the preview like this. 
Ok, our render is complete, so let's see the result. You can see it is so smooth, so you can try other slow motion modes, and comment below which one is your favorite. So I will show this feature with a simple text animation. First, I add a text layer to the timeline like this. Then I customize it. Ok so I'm going to transform. I'd like to add the spin animation to this. So I pick here in the timeline, and create a keyframe. Then go to few seconds forward. And I rotate this text to something like two rounds. Ok now it looks like this. Then I would like to adjust the speed between these keyframes, so I click this to open the keyframe panel. Ok, this is the new keyframe panel, and you can see we have a little timeline like this. So to adjust the key graph, simply select these keyframes, then you can use any graph preset in this panel. So I choose this, and it automatically added a curve like this. Also you can adjust this curve you like. So let's see how it looks. It's great, so this is a very cool feature of Filmora 13. You can try this key graph feature and you can create different types of animations you like. So the last one is compound clips. So this is the timeline of my previous tutorial. As you can see I split some parts, adjusted the speed of some clips, added motions, and more. So in Filmora 13, we can move these all clips to a single layer. So I chose the main part of my video like this. Then right click on this and select create compound clip, or you can press alt plus G on the keyboard. Then I named this to the main clip, and click OK. After that, you can see it changed to a single layer. Now we have a clean timeline like this. So if you want to edit that layer again, you can easily switch to composite clips here. And you can do the same thing by double clicking this compact clip. So here we have a highlight line around the timeline to show that we're currently in the composite clip, so it's a very useful thing. After that you can edit anything in this section. Then if you want to go back to the main timeline, you can simply switch to the main timeline here. So guys, these are the new exciting features of the upcoming Filmora 13, so these are just few of them. It has more cool AI features like Filmora Copilot, AI text to video, and so many things, so I'll bring them up in the next video. So if you want to learn more Filmora tutorials, you can check out my Filmora tutorial playlist. I have done so many tutorials about Filmora, you can watch them after this video. So guys thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy this. Also please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment about which feature you like most in Filmora 13. So let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.